hear me? Yes. A brief oh. overview. We um, got into New York, met up with Donna Mathias. We're now at Liberty Plaza. The mayor earlier today was asked by the people that own the plaza to do something about the amount of people here because sanitation levels are reaching an unsanitary level, according to the owners of the park. There are easily a couple of thousand people here right now. There's a march coming in from Washington Park where the General Assembly was. There are about 1,500 people coming in. They should arrive in about 15 minutes. And it's still kind of like at the frenzy stage here, you know, signs everywhere. Every one of their various stations is doing their best to um, maintain the health and well-being of everyone. But it's, it's pretty obvious that this has reached a point of unsustainability as far as the amount of people that are here. So there's talk about breaking uh, into satellite groups of Occupy. Uh, that I believe they're just scouting out areas for that to occur so that it can operate in smaller uh, groups and then have the meeting point be the plaza, Liberty Plaza here. So would the protesters no longer be sleeping overnight at, at the plaza? Um, if they would be sleeping overnight, it would be a smaller number. Like the idea is to split it up so people can still sleep. Uh, it'll just be split up into um, more sustainable numbers because currently the amount of people that are sleeping in the park, it's reached a point where people are having trouble finding space to sleep. Uh, Currently, it's it's difficult to even walk through here, um, which I mean is only a, a positive thing, but at the same time, if it can't be sustained, obviously, it won't be any good for the movement. And when you were up there last week, weren't there somewhere between 250 to 500 people that were sleeping there overnight? I would say closer to 250 overnight. Now, I I honestly couldn't give you an estimate. I mean, there there are people shoulder to shoulder from one end of the plaza to the other and on the sidewalks surrounding the plaza even with everyone's things contested during the daytime there there's no room which is i mean there are, there are a lot of people here and for the, for the most part the only information you've shared with us is that for bathroom needs people have been going to mcdonald's and other businesses that were friendly to the protesters yes the bathroom issues aren't really much of an issue. The businesses are still letting people use the restrooms. I believe a few of the businesses have been requiring people to buy something. So a lot of people, I think, have just been buying you know, dollar coffees if they have to or going in and as groups and buying a dollar coffee and then the others kind of sneaking in while, you know, while people are <laughs> buying coffee. But uh, the vast majority of the businesses nearby have been pretty, pretty good about letting people use the restaurant still. Since there is now discussion about uh, changing the MO, have you heard any talk about some people wanting to relocate to the DC protest or other protests in nearby cities? There has been talk of that. Um, one point Matthias brought up earlier is that there are a lot of people coming to this protest bringing local issues rather than starting an Occupy affiliate in their hometown and uh, dealing with those issues so there's a lot of talk uh, encouraging people to take what they're learning here and go home and start a movement um, that doesn't mean that they want people to not be here uh, it just seems that spreading spreading out into many many cities is um, going to uh, enhance the movement it's going to um, allow more people to participate and people that don't have internet access to uh, hear about it, basically. Mm. For people like Matthias and Don who have been actively reporting for a week, they've had a chance to sleep in a hotel room, a basement, a couple of different places. Are there others that are there that are not related to the media who also have either family or friends or simply strangers who are supportive of the cause and are letting some of the protesters stay at their house? Yeah, a lot of people have been loaning their floors but there, there are just too many people to, to actually house, especially indefinitely. We are all going back up to Upper Manhattan tonight to sleep. Uh, a friend of a friend of Matthias's lives up there, and we will be crashing on his floor for the night rather than trying to find a spot here or a spot on the sidewalk. So, mm. um, yeah, there's been lots of 
lots to talk about that. Lots to talk about other parks and public areas that could be occupied. Unfortunately, most of the parks have a curfew. So that's something the General Assembly is uh, focusing on currently. Uh, you had mentioned just a little bit ago about the park being owned by someone. Uh, so Liberty Plaza is not a public area? It is a public park in the sense that it is available to the public for use. It is owned by a company. I'd have to look on the internet to actually get the name of the company. I know I've read it in articles already, but they have they have allowed this to go on thus far, and I have I and many others have a sneaking suspicion that they and the mayor are now uh, attempting to find any means necessary to remove people from the area, and I think that uh, the easiest way for them to do that would be for the company to close the plaza. And they could do so for cleaning because they own it. They can legally do that. However, uh, I don't know how successful they would be in getting people to actually leave. It's a sea of people, like I said, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, it's hard to even wander through with a small backpack attached to you without bumping into somebody. You know, you had mentioned people showing up to New York with their own hometown's local issues on their mind. And rather than starting a movement where they're coming from or joining the movement in their, their home city, they've come to New York with these issues. And, you know, Occupy just recently posted on Facebook three ideas that everyone could consider. Number one was stage sit-ins at banks and Wall Street offices and nonviolently block foreclosures and evictions to defend homeowners and taxpayers. Number two was move into politicians' offices to hold them accountable for the actions of the corporations that fund their campaigns and challenge them not to be apologists for Wall Street. Number three was use direct action and mass civil disobedience to occupy workplaces that are being shuttered and the, and the corporate offices of companies that won't invest in local communities to highlight what is wrong. What has been a general consensus today? So far, the... Uh, general conversation I've been hearing has been mostly about the sustainability of the movement in the area. Um, those ideas are incredibly important, and I think on the local level, I think on the local level they should be encouraged. Definitely, a lot of people they don't they don't want the uh, the movement to kind of implode, or uh, they don't want people to leave, go to their hometowns, and then have no one here. Obviously, I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, by promoting people to do things in their hometowns. Basically, the, the uh, general general uh, conversation of the day has been about sustaining the uh, amount of people that are here. And so what is the outlook for the rest of the day? Has there, have there been talks about certain marches or other movements that the group will be doing? Well, there is a march from Washington Park over here, like I said, of about 1,500 people. And uh, as far as I know, Anti-Flag played here earlier today. Uh, so that's just, uh, you know, positive publicity. As far as the evening goes, I think it's just going to be a general rally here in Liberty Plaza. The General Assembly met in Washington Park. That's what that march was about. Um, so it was just a bunch of people marching back from that. Currently, we're trying to snap some pictures of the compost and gray water systems that the uh, food area has. There's a lot of hard workers here, and they have a pretty, pretty incredible system happening. So snapping some pictures of that. I don't know how long we're going to stick around tonight because, like I said, it is just kind of a general rally happening. Uh, tomorrow, as far as tomorrow goes, other than a general assembly, we do not have any um, actual schedule happening. What is the traffic like going into that part of New York on a weekend? Oh, it is absolutely insane. I mean, that's... Not to say much, every time I've ever been to New York, the traffic has been absolutely insane. Foot traffic in the area, however, is unlike anything I've experienced except for at festivals. But, uh, yeah, as far as parking goes, if anyone's going to come to the protest, I strongly, uh, strongly encourage them to park in Jersey City and take the ferry or park outside of New York and take a train in. All right. Good advice, I think. Moving through the people now, and it's getting progressively harder to do this, so yeah, I'm going to sign off. <laughs> All right. That's Caleb Banis reporting for WXPI. Thank you, Caleb. Yeah, thank you. All right. We'll talk to you later. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.